In the previous movie, we learned how to add the like button to our app. So let's go and explore some of the other options that we have in social plugins. And I'm going to add a couple of them. So I'm going to click over here to go to the social plugins. And you can see that there are a number of plugins available to you, including comments, which is one I want to add right now, and also something called FacePal. FacePal is a picture of other friends who are users of this app. So I'm going to go to the comments section first and look at the code for that. So you can see that there's another code generator here. And if we get the code, it's going to pretty much tell us what we saw on the like button. A bunch of code that we don't need, which is this div that's FB root. We don't really need that. We already have that in our app. The other thing here is loading up the JavaScript SDK. Again, that's something that we already do in our app, so we don't need that. Really, the only thing you need is this piece of code right here. But I've got that in my snippets file, so I'm going to switch over to BB Edit and switch over to transmit and open up my index page from the site and copy this FB comments div and I want that to happen right underneath the blog section so what is it doing I need to make sure I set the data width right here because the default width is a little bit short we also want to make sure we add a data href unlike our previous button we need to make sure we tell Facebook that these comments are all going to be from this URL. When Facebook receives comments from different websites, this is how it identifies all the comments as belonging to this particular application. And then we can put the number of posts if we want to right there. So I will save that. I'll switch over to my app, refresh, scroll down to the bottom, and I should see the comment section right here. So if I want to, I can add a comment. I'm also a moderator because I am the creator of this app or this user is the creator of the app. So I can go into moderator view, something I wouldn't see normally. And I'll hit comment. And there you go. Showing you how to put a comment there. Pretty cool. You can do things that you would normally do with comments like like or reply. Let me go ahead and go back to Facebook developers and back to social plugins and scroll down to the FacePal, another really easy to do social plugin. You can also get the code from here and customize it. Remember, you don't need any of this. Just get this part right there and paste it onto your app. So I already have that in the code snippets with a little headline that says, who loves us? Here's a bunch of your friends who also like this app. So I'm gonna paste that into the social plugin section right underneath our like button. Skip that over, save it, and go back to our app and refresh. So now we can see a few of our friends who have already added this app. So it's just that simple. You can add a number of social plugins into your app. It's a pretty similar process to how you add things to regular websites. Just keep in mind that you don't need to initialize the SDK or insert the Facebook div and there might be some slight differences in the code between the different items that we add.